So, Merlin Shapeshifter just became the first truly infinite game-winning combo in all of Lorcana. I say truly because all the other Lorcana infinite combos have the same issue. They require your opponent to have something in place for you to complete the loop, and if you aren't careful, you can break the loop by consuming all of your opponent's characters, which you need to maintain the loop. The combo is easy enough to understand, and it starts with Pride Lands, Pride Rock. This location costs two, is uninkable, and costs two to move a character there. The bit we care about is if that character happens to be a king or prince character, you get a static cost reduction of all your characters by one. So now we have two in play, two princes in play, one at each location. These can be Simbas, Prince Philip, Mufasa, or anyone else with that classification. Now, all of our characters cost two less to play. The trick is to have Merlin in play and one Madame Mim Snake. With Merlin, he gains plus one lore for each character returned to your hand from play. And with snakes costing zero, thanks to the Pride Lands, you simply play one snake, bounce the first snake, and Merlin gains plus one lore. But now, you play the first snake again, bouncing the second snake to give Merlin another lore. Rinse and repeat until Merlin quests for 20, or more. You can go infinite, Merlin can quest for a hundred, or a thousand. It really goes until you either quest or your opponent concedes. But the real question is, will anyone think of a way to make this a viable strategy, or is it doomed to be a neat but impossible quirk of these cards? Awesome, going first. All right guys, so I've been getting comments, DMs all day about the brand new infinite combo, and today we're going to see if we can't pull it off. I am uh, playing a game with a friend, so we're going to make this combo work no matter what. So he's going to play as if it's a normal game, but he's not going to kill my important pieces. He can hear me speaking right now, so uh, when I'm like, hey, don't touch this thing, he won't touch the thing. We just want to make this combo work. And so far I have three, four, I have four of the six pieces we need. All right, so we're going to ink this guy. We're going to dig. All right, I got another piece that we need. The only problem is, is uh, I have to ink and <laughs> all my cards are a part of the combo. So let's hope I don't have to do too much. Oh, perfect. That's something I can ink. Let's put you down. I'm going to try to avoid actually putting these down for the sake of the combo because... Uh, they will gain me lore every turn, and I don't want to accidentally win the game before we got to do the infinite combo. I know, it's a very different type of video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this style, like these intentionally set up to see these kinds of plays. It's not something I've ever actually done before. Alright, so we want to stop my opponent from winning the game, of course. And I still need to ink. I only need one of these guys, so let's... Let's get rid of the Captain Hook. Alright. One snake down. We'll ink the other one. Pass the turn. Alright, as long as I can keep the ink going, we'll be fine. We're almost there. I only need... Technically, I have everything I need. I got enough princes. I just have to get them all into play now. That's why we're running the Prince Philippe, because he also uh, is a prince, and so he works with the Pride Lands. Alright, that's ink. That's exactly what we need. Alright, past turn. We're actually, funny enough, we're almost there. I need one more snake. I should have inked the second snake. But we needed the ink to be able to continue playing. One more snake and we can go, we can pretty much go infinite. Okay, so we can keep digging. Don't need to ink it technically. So let's do that, let's keep digging. Okay, I will ink that one. It's so nerve-wracking, like, we're so close! Captain Hook bend? It's the pirate stack, okay. Mr. Shmee! 
secretly incredibly powerful. Quest, quest. Oh, I don't need another Pride Lands. Well, let's get them both into play. We are almost there. Get rid of you. Pass the turn. I read that they uh, they apparently fixed this, so these non-ink locations shouldn't be doing the footsteps, but they're clearly still doing the footsteps. Oh, it's it's weird. One more snake means we just win the game on the spot. Okay, now there's only two snakes left in the deck and I have to get them both or we can't win this game. <laughs> Alright, let's start with a Merlin. And keep digging. Uh, let's put both of those back into his deck. How much does this cost? Costs two to move here. Okay. Pass turn. Two snakes. There are some foxes, so I could get the other Prince Philip with the third Pride Lands, and I could technically make the foxes work as well. So provided uh, Echo Fang here doesn't blow up my stuff, we can make it happen. We can make it happen with the foxes. Mmm, that's not what I want. All right, let's move these guys over. Cost reduction. Okay. Not bad. How do I want to play this? Oh, let's do... This. Okay. Not bad. Give and Mickey the old resist. Okay, not bad. Let's start here. Paying two for Rapunzel feels really good. Free Cinderella. Uh, let's dig again. Uh, let's... You can have Mickey back. How about that? A free Rapunzel. I mean, we could just win the game in other ways, but I really want to go for the infinite combo, so we're going to push for it. We're going to go for that infinite combo. Yeah, we'll ink the Mufasa. So the game could technically be over. All we got to do is just quest and we could probably just win this game on the spot. But that is not what we're here to do. We are here for an infinite combo. Hopefully this gives you some idea of uh, how difficult this particular combo is. But it is a combo out here. So keep an eye on it. Okay, I got a fox. That's almost enough. It's almost enough to go infinite. All right, let's get Philip down put him on the location so now everything's effectively free at this point pretty close I need one more fox or one more snake and the game is over so all I got to do is just win or get or draw the card before my locations end the game let's hope we can do it <laughs> I got a plan. We're going to draw a bunch of cards next turn. So hopefully we'll be able to just close it out next turn. Oh, there we go. And the game is over. So here we go. Merlin says, whenever one of one of your other characters is returned to your hand from play, uh, Merlin gains one lore. So we're going to start by playing the fox. 
We'll bounce Rapunzel back to our hand. Merlin gains plus one. Now we'll play the snake. We'll bounce the fox back to our hand. Merlin gains another. We're gonna play the fox. We're gonna bounce the snake back to my hand. And we're gonna repeat this until Merlin has enough to win. So Echo Fang, if you'll bear with me, I want to win with 50 or more lore. So I'm just going to keep doing this until we are <laughs> satisfactorily at the highest lore I'll probably ever win with for the rest of time. So yeah, infinite. A true, actual, real infinite combo. It was a little difficult to set up. It was a little clunky. Obviously your opponent's going to fight you the entire way on it. So you'll never get to pull this off in a real game. But Lorcana is not afraid to do infinites. So if you'll bear with me for just a moment, I'm just gonna speed up the footage here so you guys don't have to sit through this. All right, welcome back from the fast forwarding. Here we go. One final bounce. I want to make sure I win at, at 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 least 50. Here we go. Merlin for the win. 51. Holy smokes. The infinite combo is real and also really impossible to do. Don't try it. You'll never get it to work. All right. We're going to play one more with Echo Fang and I let him know. Do his best to kick my butt. I want you guys to see how impossible this combo is. We're going to. We're gonna go for it. We're we're gonna we're gonna try our darndest, uh, and the first thing we gotta do is discard pretty much everything in our hand. We're looking for all the combo pieces. I mean, I would love to win. That would be insane. I just it's not gonna happen. Uh, okay. So we have a few pieces, but not enough to actually pull it off. And our goal here is to win via combo, so we're not going to actively try to win by other means here. Oh, let's see. Just a little expensive. Last turn. We'll do our best to keep our opponent from winning, but we're not going to try to actively win unless it's the combo. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> That place of exile, that really shuts down this card, doesn't it? Alright, let's drop you off at the pool. And Simba. Pass turn. Alright, so now the pressure's really on. <laughs> Can we, like, do we even have a prayer? Like, I have several pieces and I just lost one of our princes. Good thing I got lots of princes in the deck. Alright, don't need you. And we're gonna go for this because I really can't do any of the other guys. Alright, pass turn. So these guys are in here for card draw primarily. The uninkable though is starting to set in as being a problem. Speaking of which, Forever Uninkable merch, it's available now, link is in the description down below, look at this guy, yeah. I got a cool shirt, and then there's a, there's an image on, on the back. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, there's hoodies, there's kid sizes, a bunch of stuff, you, you know, just a, just a little plug here for all of you. Uh, all of us Forever Uninkables. Okay, let's see, how do I want to do this? Let's get rid of you. Let's play a genie. So genie's one of our card drawing guys. This is one of those kinds of infinite combos where it's like, it's not like Jafar in a whole new world where it just kind of can happen randomly at the back end of a game for victory out of nowhere. This is something you have to actually build up to and your opponent has to not be able to stop you. And to just kind of give you more of a reference for how not good this infinite combo is, uh, my buddy here, Echo Fang, this may be his third, fourth, fifth game. All, all just to say is that he's uh, not very experienced in this game and he's going to absolutely wreck me. Okay, well, that's some progress. That's not bad.
Mufasa. Alright. We gotta start making things cheaper. The only way I'm gonna get through this is if I can explode out onto the board. Hey, that's my lore you just stole, hey hey. Not looking good. Alright, so it's gonna cost me four to play this. And I'll have a little bit of reduction, but not really enough for anything meaningful, huh? Let's see. Cost two, cost two. I'm down to two. So I effectively have three. That's not enough to really get anything out and still have Mufasa be effective. Hmm, but if I don't try to stop his characters, we will be in trouble. Alright, we're gonna go for it anyway. Five toughness is really nice. Yeah, and I can't quite play anything else. Alright, so let's take out... El Capitan. Pass the turn. Hmm, Rise of the Titans. That's gonna delay us a little bit. <laughs> I absolutely expect to get destroyed here. And so far, it's not going well. <laughs> okay, how shall we play this? I need more cards, because I don't have all the answers, which makes me want to play this. Let's start here. Uh, let's give him back nothing. Okay, so I got plenty of pieces. Just don't have the answers. Well, that's one of the cards I need. Okay, so we know that that's coming. I can effectively only play one thing. How about a Prince Philippe? I was hoping for something off of Mufasa, not just to know the top of the deck, unfortunately. Ooh. And just think, Steel is in like every single deck right now, and it's all the Steel cards that are shutting us down. Ooh, Ink to John Silver. That's not what you want to see from your opponent. I mean, great for me. <laughs> Alright, a little silly to have to do it this way, but we will. Pass the turn. At least opponent's in top deck mode. And the pirates don't have like a really powerful top end. Try to use some genies to get some value here. We're running out of time. Ha! Hey, hey, I has no lore to take. You fool! Alright, so let's see. Right now they can gain three lore. It takes them up to 18. So I basically need to get everything I need right now. <laughs> Well, that's not really going to cut it. Uh, kind of, not really. Let's move you there. Have I inked yet? That's the question. I have not. Good, 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 good. Well, I can play one thing or I can play two things. Well, I could definitely get this out. That will set this up.
Oh, I could have replayed Cinderella. Oh well. Oh well. Watch, I'm gonna draw the friends on the other side and wish I could have sang it. Not a Jim Hawkins! Alright, so it's not actually possible to win from this position, right? Because Merlin's going to have, for lack of a better term, summoning sickness. Ooh, and it's not even the card we want. So what are we missing? Because the game is about to be over, so what are we shy on? We are missing... Uh, we have Merlin, right? We have one prince with one pride land, so we're missing a pride lands. We're actively missing a second prince to go with it. And we're missing a second snake. So we're still missing three cards off this combo. We're 33 cards deep into the deck. Opponents actively been attacking us. And we're like this far behind. So like, yeah, your odds of ever pulling off this combo in a real game are basically impossible. Like you cannot win. Let's see. I can sing this with Prince because he doesn't need to be. But there's a second Prince. And I just, I don't think I have any other way of drawing another card and being able to play it. Oh, yeah, I have no way of getting damage on my characters to heal with the Rapunzels. I could draw another with Maleficent, but now I just, I don't have enough ink to, like, even if this was the Pride Lands, I wouldn't have enough ink for it, and I still don't have the other snake. All right, this is the best we could do. So again, it's a little bit, it's a little bit one-sided skewed because we didn't actively quest with our characters for the lore. We quest with the genies because you have to, to draw cards. But like, you're trying to go for the combo, it's just not going to happen. You're just not going to win. And with that, that's the game. Don't play the combo. It's not worth it.